first steps in taking control of the former steelworks site in Redcar on Teesside have been taken today. The South Tees Development Corporation, charged by the government with redeveloping the site, has said it's starting compulsory purchase proceedings. Much of the site is in the hands of three Thai banks. Our business correspondent Ian Reeve reports. Idle and cold for two and a half years. But today saw a significant move in the attempt to find an afterlife for Redcar Steelworks. Three Thai banks have been told the first steps towards a compulsory purchase of the site have been made. They have a grip on this place, having loaned former Thai owner SSI the money to buy it. And they want it back. Our preferred option, which is still on the table, is to negotiate a deal with the Thai banks, optimistically to do exactly that. But if those talks fall apart, we can't put all our eggs in one basket and we need to make sure we have a plan B. And plan B is compulsory purchase. The mayor heads up a development corporation charged by the government with redeveloping this mammoth site. The hope is that it can see 20,000 jobs created over the next 25 years. The development corporation's move to trigger compulsory purchase proceedings is very much a plan B. Indeed, the mayor is meeting the three Thai banks soon. But it is a site with such potential and interest that every aspect of taking control has to be explored. Last year saw a master plan unveiled reimagining the steelworks. Part of it might be retained, become a tourist attraction. But alongside that, there is serious job creating interest. More than 100 now uh, registered interest in the site. Many thousands of jobs, multi billion pound projects are going to create many thousands of jobs in the near future, ranging from material processing and things like steel, aluminium, right the way through to chemicals, energy projects, big energy projects coming forward, right the way through to even automotive interest as well. Little wonder then that it's so important that control of the site passes to a local development corporation, that this place rings with the sounds of employment again, no longer a workshop without work. Ian Reeve, BBC Look North, Redcar.